Welcome to Tiger Tracks, your home for the best of LSU athletics. And now, your hosts, Jordy Holkberg and Bill Frankens. Hello, Tiger fans around the world. Welcome to Tiger Tracks. He's Bill Frankens. I'm Jordy Holkberg. Since last we met, well, the Tigers come up in baseball with a big two to one series win against Arkansas on the road. Women's softball continues to be number one. Gymnastics. Um, getting ready for Ames, Iowa, and NCAA Regional. It's just a busy, busy time. Well, it really is. Uh, baseball, of course, coming off a win over Tulane mm -hmm. earlier this week. Tigers number one in the country, playing host to Kentucky this weekend yeah. at Alec Box Stadium, Skip Burtman Field. Softball, a big win over South Alabama earlier this week. LSU is now 31 and one Amazing. on the year, also number one in the country. They'll be on the road at Kentucky this weekend. Gymnastics is the number four national seed at the NCAA <laughs> championship meet, or That's I should say time. at the NCAA regional meet right. in Ames, Iowa. And they'll, of course, will compete there for an opportunity to move on to the big meet and hopefully on to the Super Six. We're well, shot at the national yeah. title. Yeah, hey, good luck, good luck, Dee, Dee. Um yeah. Coming up on the program today, softball. They uh, they beat Oklahoma, six-ranked team in the country, swept them. They just eight-run ruled, uh, mercy ruled South Alabama. They, as you said, they're going to Kentucky. We'll have a feature on the softball team. Boy, they got some arms on oh that squad. Gosh. And Beth Torino doing a fantastic job. Our good friend Karen Bonson, all 31 years as the LSU women's golf coach, will join us to talk about a big tournament coming up. Absolutely, the LSU Tiger Golf Classic this weekend at the University Club. The Lady Tigers number six in the country. She's got a great team. We're going to take a time out. We're going to come back. My NCAA bracket's not. Hey, LSU playing this week. Doggone it. We'll be back. <laughs> Stay with us. And we are back as promised. Bill Frank is. I'm Jordy Helper. We begin the show this week with LSU softball. Beth Tarine and company, after losing only one game to Florida on the road, who was number one at the time they played, yep. LSU just continuing with arms. They're swinging the bats. They, uh, they're just taking care of business. Well, they really are. They're on the road this weekend at Kentucky for another uh, road test mm -hmm. in the conference. Garrett Walbert had a chance this week to speak to some of the players, Savannah Jaquish, Bianca Bell, and others. And Let's take a look and, and see how well the softball team is playing this season. The 19th season of LSU softball began with a bang as the Tigers raced out to a school record 25 and 0, beginning with their home opener against Memphis. The offense played its six runs in the sixth inning that night, and Bianca Bell finished three for three with her first home run of the year. Bailey Corbello tossed a complete game four hitter, striking out eight and earning the win. Senior captain A.J. Andrews ended the game by robbing a home run ball at the wall in left center field, and our cameras caught up with the players afterwards. I was playing over because that's where she hit it last time, and um, it kind of took a weird hop, so I was trying to play her, her last at bat. And so then I saw it, and I was just running for it, and I just thought I was at the fence, so I tried to take it. I just caught it. I'm just happy I caught it. It was exciting. Uh, it was a very good start, kind of slow in the beginning, but uh, we definitely came back in the sixth inning and powered through and uh, got the runs that we needed to uh, get for Bailey, and we definitely did a good job. It was really exciting. I was really excited to get back on the field with these girls, and they really showed what they were made of, and they really showed me that they were playing behind me today, and they did really well. It took us a while to find the ball a little bit, uh, just 
different adjustments, not knowing much about the pitcher. And then that just shows you how great our pitching co or our hitting coaches and how great our hitters are at making adjustments. Freshman All-American Savannah Jaquish picked up where she left off in 2014, piling up home runs and RBIs to start the season. The California native amassed six games where she drove in four RBIs or more and quickly took over the SEC lead in runs driven in. For us, she tells us that we are 0-16 when we practice, and that's, that's what the message is every single practice, that we're the worst team in the country, and when we go, to, go out on the field, then we're 16-0, and we're the best team in the, in the country, and no one can beat us. So I really feel like that mindset, the switching on and off, is, is helping us a lot. LSU swept their first two weekends at Tiger Park, beating top 20 Notre Dame twice, setting the stage for a huge tournament in California at the Mary Nutter Classic. But before heading to the West Coast, the Tigers welcomed Louisiana Tech to Baton Rouge, taking a 3-0 lead in the second inning when Constance Quinn went yard. The Lady Texters rallied the lead going into the seventh inning, but Bailey Landry quickly reached base and set the table for Bianca Bell. The junior from Tampa, Florida blasted a double over the head of the Tech center fielder and drove in one run to make it a 5-4 game. Still trailing by one, Savannah Jaquish came to the plate and got down in the count one and two before seeing her pitch to hit. This one's high in the air. Left field, all the way back. A walk-off home run for Savannah Jaquish and LSU wins this ball game. Seven to five, LSU now 11 and 0 to start the 2015 season. LSU welcomed two outstanding pitchers to the program in the offseason, both with ties to California. Allie Waljasper has compiled a 9-0 record to start the year, the best by a true freshman in school history. Opponents are hitting less than 200 against the 6'2 right-hander, and she's already tossed eight complete games on the campaign. Carly Hoover, who spent a redshirt season at Stanford, has been a dominator in the circle for LSU. Hoover leads the staff with 72 strikeouts in just 57 innings pitched and has been excellent in relief, notching a pair of saves. Rounding out the rotation is sophomore Kelsey Selman. Selman is 6-0 on the season with a 1.4 ERA and six complete games on the year. The Texas native threw a no-hitter last season in non-conference play and has lowered her ERA by a point and a half. LSU hosted Arkansas and Baton Rouge for their season opener and shut out the Razorbacks in the first two games to win the series. The Tiger pitching staff allowed just one run total during the three games and pushed the team's winning streak to 25-0. Shortstop Bianca Bell made history in the Saturday game, breaking the school record with her 34th career home run, passing All-American Rachel Mitchell. Bell, who's still a junior, needed 200 less at-bats than Mitchell to break the record. LSU's first SEC road trip to number one ranked Florida proved to be a monumental series win as LSU took games two and three. But it was the way LSU prevailed in game two that set the softball world on fire. Tied at 10 in the seventh inning, with the bases loaded and a full count, Kelsey Kloss unloaded a grand slam that stands as the play of the year in the Southeastern Conference. The Tigers won 14 to 10, scoring the most runs ever by an opponent in Gainesville. And just five days later, LSU would sweep the number six ranked team in the country, beating Oklahoma one to nothing on Friday night. Bianca Bell's burn bomb was the difference in game one, and the Tigers run ruled the top 10 Sooners on Saturday, 10 to two, pushing their record to 30 and one. The LSU offense has raised its batting average 40 points from last season and is on pace to break the school record for total homers set last season with 65. With their power at the plate and in the circle, it could be another banner year for the purple and gold. Thank you, Garrett, very much. 31 and one. <laughs> Enough said, 31 yeah. and one. Just, it's just been a remarkable year, as, as you heard the young ladies say. They're, they're very humble about it, though. Yeah. They're extremely hardworking. They have a lot of great chemistry. Uh, Beth Tarina deserves a lot of credit for recruiting these uh, players into the program and then developing them into this fantastic team, and we only hope it's going to continue. Don't forget, the SEC tournament is at Tiger yeah. Park this this year, and tickets will be on sale very soon. LSU baseball number one, softball number one, te golf number six. What's wrong? <laughs> Karen Bonson coming up next. Tiger Tracks on CST is being brought to you by Capital One Bank, the official bank of all things Louisiana, and by Louisiana Propane Dealers. Get up to $1,200 in rebates on propane accessories. Find out how at louisianapropane.com.
Welcome back to Tiger Tracks on CST alongside Bill. I'm Jordy. We continue the show now with uh, in her 31st season as the golf coach for the LSU women's team and now one of the newest members of the Mobile Hall of Fame and that is our good friend Karen Bonson. First off, thanks for coming and congratulations. Thanks. That is a tremendous, tremendous honor and a tremendous Hall of Fame. It really is. I'm really honored about, by being inducted and I, I looked at the list of the people that were in there before me. I was like, wow, it's really, you know, it really is a big honor because some great names on it. I just want to know if you're better than that lady that was inducted in 1999, <laughs> which just so happens to be your mother. Yeah. Can you beat her with the sticks? <laughs> <laughs> I might be able to beat her now, but I tell you what, when I was young, we had a lot of matches back and forth. We played in a lot of tournaments together, so we had a lot of fun fun competing against each other. That is awesome. So Congratulations really on that. Thanks. That really is, Karen. And of course, uh, your team in 2015 is uh, off to a fantastic start, or I should say has ha enjoying a fantastic season, yes. number six in the nation. Mm -hmm. You've had two wins, two second place finishes. Yes. Just talk about the way the team is coming together as the postseason is very close. Sure. Well, we start. We ended the fall, you know, with a, a win in San Antonio. So we've gone first, second, first, second. So I think it's time for a win, and we're yeah. at home. So <laughs> hey, yeah. you know what? What better timing for that? But uh, I'm really proud of the girls. Uh, they've been working really, really hard, which they are always good hard workers. But the neat thing about this team this year is they've really bought into some things we're telling them mentally. You know, golf's a mental game, and we're really just trying to play within ourselves. And that's easy to say. You hear people talk about it. Mm -hmm. But doing it's another story, and they're actually doing it. We're not worried about trying to go out there and like, oh, where do we stand in the tournament? Are we going to win? And so just play and then see what happens. I've got to ask up. you this, uh, kind of an aside to that. You've been yes. 31 years. Mm -hmm. um, you've seen some of the good, some of the bad, yes. some of the not so good. Yes. If you characterize this time of year in LSU athletics, we've had baseball number one before. Yes. Softball's number one. Yep. Gymnastics is right there in the hunt. Yep. Your women's golf team. Yep. Track it. I mean, it's just, it's just yeah. like arguably might be the best spring ever. Men's golf is also number Men's seven in the yeah. country right now, so they're doing fantastic too. So it really is exciting time, you know, part of LSU, and it's really neat. It's a lot of fun to pull for each other and see everybody doing well. Yeah. Now, Karen, your team has one senior, yep. Madeline Sagstrom, a native of Sweden, and she's having an amazing year. In fact, individually, she's number three in yep. the country. Yep. Talk about, first of all, her right. and, the, and the impact she's made on your program and especially this season. She has just been a tremendous young lady to have on the team, and it's been really interesting because um, coming in as a freshman, she had this unbelievable golf swing. I mean, and I told people, and it's, I put it in the Golf Magazine uh, article, that basically it was like giving a Ferrari to a 16-year-old the swing that she had, <laughs> but she wasn't quite ready to handle it. Now, as a senior, she's matured into this golf swing and has worked really hard to fine-tune it even, and she's just playing tremendously, and she's matured so much, you know, emotionally and mentally, so it's really great to see her have this experience the success she's having. I like her. I'm, I'm of Swedish yeah. persuasion as yeah. well. Did you fix her meatballs when there she, you, when she, when oh, you yeah. were recruiting her? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. um, this is not your first run, uh, you know, no. in, in the rankings are concerned. Right. You, know, you finished number three a couple of times. We did. Expectations because of that. Right. On yourself and on your team? Um, again, we're trying to get the mentality of not putting all that, you know, okay. not focusing on that. We're just trying to go out and play every single round. And we know that those, you know, results will come, you know. But these, this team is really buying into that. So as a coach, I have to buy into that same thing. So I can't get sidetracked either. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to do the same thing the girls are it's, doing. It's hard, though. It's hard. It is hard yeah, not to look ahead and start looking at other teams. Yeah, it is. It is okay. really hard. Right, we won't tell them that you do that. Yeah. But you do do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Because I do that. Yes. Looking at your roster, uh, along with Madeline, you have two other players right now in the top 40, yeah. uh, Carolyn Neistrup, Elise Bradley. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about them and the impact they're making. Absolutely. I mean, Caroline's a sophomore, and she came in last year and had a fantastic freshman year, and she's following up and actually playing a little bit better. I think this, this year she's ranked number 17 in the country, and um, she's just been tremendous. She's making more putts this year. We've really, I challenged the girls over the Christmas break to really get better. Mm -hmm. I, I looked at all of our stats. We were always playing pretty good in the fall, but I'm like, if everyone can just make one more putt per round, look what it's going to do for our team. Yeah. And they all kind of took that upon themselves, and they did what I asked them to do, and I'm seeing some of those results. I'm and glad then, you don't ask yeah. me to get better. <laughs> <laughs> That's just not going to yeah. happen. But we're yeah. going to take a quick time out. We're going to come back and talk more with Karen Bonson. The University Club is ready, and she's ready as well. We'll be right back. Stay with us on Tiger Tracks.
<laughs> well, welcome back to Tiger Tracks here on CST. Bill Frank is. I'm Jordy Helper. We continue our conversation with Karen Bonson. She's busy and we appreciate her time today because the LSU Tiger Golf Classic at the University Club runs Friday through Sunday, but of course, Thursday's a big, uh, big day with 16 teams. Yep, that's a lot. Is that normal? That's yes, normal for college oh, golf. We play anywhere from gosh. 12 to 18 teams in tournaments. So. We're in the sweet 16 in college basketball, and they got yeah. sites all over the country. You got yeah. 16 teams all in right one here. place. Yep. It gets God pretty bless crazy. you. God bless you. <laughs> That's good. Karen, talk about the competition, the teams you'll be facing this weekend. Yeah. We're looking for great weather, by the way. Yeah, be I'm so glad about that. Oh, you just jinx that. that. No, no, no. <laughs> there it goes. It's your fault. It's your fault. No, 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 absolutely. But it should be a great event. Just talk about the significance of the event, what it means for your team sure. and, and the type of teams you'll be facing. Absolutely. Well, with those 16 teams, we have some other top-ranked teams. Um, Wake Forest is number 10. Mississippi State's 11. Um, UCF is in the top 20. So we have some good teams in the field. So I'm really looking forward to that. And again, playing at the university club, being at home, our golf course is hard, you know, we did it that way on purpose, um, but it makes our team better. But I think that helps our team, you know, be able to handle it, know where to, you know, hit for certain greens and certain uh -huh. pins and all uh -huh. that. So I think that's really good for our team to be able to play at home. We've had crazy weather. It has been. Cold and yes. then the warm yeah. and we'd have another freeze. How's yes. the course it's going managing to, it's, through all it's that? It's coming good. I mean, the greens probably don't, aren't as you know, plush as you would ruin them, but that's because of the weather. Right. But they're, they're fantastic. You know, you can't ask for more this time of year. Okay. We mentioned uh, Madeline Sagstrom, yeah. uh, Carolyn Neistrup, also Elise Bradley ranked in the top 40, and she's a, a young lady from Mandeville. Yeah, she's from right here in Mandeville. She's a junior, and uh, she's ranked 39th, and I'm really proud of Elise. Um, they did a special on her in, in Golf Week magazine, too. They uh, looked at the two top uh, players that moved up the most in rankings last year. Elise was ranked like 700 and something, and now she's 39th. In fact, she's even been 36 at one point. So that's a huge jump in rankings. And she really was averaging like 78, now she's averaging like 71. You know, that's amazing improvement. Yeah. Again, she worked her tail off all summer and just got some confidence going. So it's really been great to see for her. We always talk about the SEC being so competitive in yeah. every sport. I'm sure women's yeah. golf is equally the same. It's crazy. We have probably um, eight of them in the top 14, you know, the ranked in the top 25. Oh, my so gosh. That's crazy, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of the SEC, you got the SEC tournament uh, after uh, after this weekend's LSU Tiger Golf right. Classic. The next event is the postseason SEC tournament yep. back in, in Birmingham. Yep. Uh, just talk about the significance of that event, how it springboards you into NCAA regional play. Yeah, absolutely. I worked my schedule on purpose so that it kind of fell this way for us. And we also have the a week before the SEC championship is our spring break. So it really feeds in well for us to prepare for that tournament. We changed golf courses. We're still at Greystone Country Club, but a different course in, within their facility. So I'm looking forward to that. I think it's a golf course that really suits women's collegiate golf. So I'm looking forward to playing this golf course. And um, I think the girls are excited about it. You got an assistant, Alexis Rather. Yep. Uh, you didn't used to have an assistant back long, in the yeah, day. Long I know, time I did a lot of times. How, how does that help you out? Oh, it helps tremendously. I was just talking about that yesterday with someone because um, Garrett Runyon, our men's assistant coach, just had a new baby. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, I remember those days, <laughs> but I did it by myself, you know, back then. So it was really hard. But uh, having someone like Alexis, like running this tournament, I mean, I've really turned a lot over to her because uh -huh. I'm trying to mentor her to become a head coach. Right. And I want her to learn all these things. I'm like, hey, I paid my dues. It's your turn to learn <laughs> these things, too. Yeah. So it's good. Well, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. I know it's a yeah. busy, busy time. Yeah. 16 teams, and you've got to smile, and, yeah. <laughs> uh, but you want to beat their brains out Absolutely. anyway. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. So congratulations on the Hall of Fame. Thanks. That's terrific, Appreciate and uh, good it. luck the rest of the way. All right, thanks so much. Karen Thank Bonson, LSU right. Golf Coach. We'll take a quick time out. We'll come back, and we're, we're going to stay on the golf theme. Yeah. Yeah. Women's golf feature coming up. Exactly. Garrett Walbert had a chance to talk to some of the girls, and we'll get an update on what's going on. That's all coming your way next after this time out on Tiger Tracks.
Welcome back to Tiger Tracks. As we mentioned, we just got off uh, talking to Karen Bonson. Now we're going to see some of her players uh, as this season continues to unfold, and we're coming down to tournament time. Exactly. Some of the players uh, had an opportunity to speak to Garrett Walbert and talk about the, the fantastic season they're having. They're looking forward, of course, to this weekend's LSU Tiger Golf Classic. And they're also uh, very proud to be a part of this program with Karen Bonson yeah. as their coach. Uh, there's a great relationship between Karen and her players, and, and that really comes out in these interviews. So let's take a look. I just want to do my best. I try to go out here every day and just get a little bit better every day. And I just, I feel like I've taken a big step in my game this year and I'm just really proud of myself and I'm just going to try to keep it up. I expect our team to be a favorite, definitely. I think that we have an advantage. We know the course, but at the same time, you never know what's going to happen. I, I know my game's pretty good, but I never, I, you don't know, but I'm just going to go out and have fun. And as a team, I think we've come a long way, especially from last year. Um, everybody has improved tremendously and just a team as a whole we're all very close together and I think that does help on trips um, we all know that we're there for each other and even if you do have a bad day it's really not a big deal like we're still gonna love the other person no matter what well I think we had a really 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 good start to the season I'm really proud of my team and myself, I think. We got ourselves in really good positions and we had a chance to win a lot of tournaments. We've played so far, we've won one so far, we finished runner-up, so we're really proud and really happy and we're pumped to like finish the season really good. I think that everybody looks up to Madeline and the team just because she's so good and she just works so hard. Um, and she's a really good leader, I think, because she has like really a strong attitude and like she just makes us work harder without even like saying anything uh which i think it's pretty interesting like that's a really good quality to have malins is an amazing golf player she's definitely one of the best players i know and like she's really good like taking the leadership and go in front and like show how things like should be done and I think she's one of the best and I, I can't wait to like follow her in the future and see how far she gets it. We always talk about Malin and that when she came to LSU she has probably one of the best golf swings I've ever seen in college golf. Truly she really does. But we equated it, giving that golf swing to someone like it's like giving a Ferrari to a 16 year old we always say because she had a great machine there but she had to learn she didn't have the maturity to handle it. So with her growing every single year and maturing it's just been tremendous to see that. She's ranked number two in division one you know collegiate golf so obviously she stacks up really high with everybody in the SEC as well as in the country. So um, she's in a good place um, and I'm really I think she can just continue on like she is you know some great things can happen happen for her. But Karen is a great coach and she's really knowledgeable so she um, definitely trusts her and I'm so glad I chose LSU because um, I mean I've never had a problem with Karen and I think that's like a huge like she's very easy to relate to she gives you her all and I think that's really important because a lot of my friends have had problems with their coaches or you know just aren't happy and I could never say that I'm very happy here and I think she's really knowledgeable and that's really important to me. I love working with Karen going from being in high school my high school golf coach wasn't much of a coach, like he knew golf, but not like Karen's 30 years. So having somebody that has done this for 30 years and played herself and knows what it's like is unbelievable. Love Karen, um, love Alexis. They're the best. I couldn't ask for better coaches. Um, extremely supportive. They're out here whenever we need them. They're out here before practice, after practice, um, any time for them. They work just as hard as we do. It's been awesome having someone there every day. Like, if I have any problems, I have someone to talk to. Like, I have always someone to, like, like talk to about ideas, what I want to do, or just, like, look at this, like, this is what I've been doing. Or if a lot of them stressed out in school, I talk to them a lot. Just, like, the extra support that's always there, and it's, it's great. I cannot thank them enough for everything they've done for me. All right, Garrett, thank you very much. So that's going to wrap up another edition. Um, Baseball surprise. Texas A&M kind of a surprise. Missouri kind of a surprise. Uh, up to this point, absolutely. Yeah. Texas A&M, of course, uh, uh, surpassed LSU's record for win streak. The Aggies won 24 in a row yeah. before losing a game that surpassed LSU's it's win early. streak of 23. It's early. But it's early. It's yeah, early. Exactly. All right. Well, uh, we'll be back next week, and we'll get closer and closer to all the big tournament time. And uh, we wish all the Tigers the best of luck. For Bill, I'm Jordy. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week on Tiger Tracks.